Hello everyone. Today I've got some more uh, Excel systems uh, decoders to review for you. So this one is uh, for a GP38. It's a sound decoder. And this one is the GP38, uh, no sound. So we're gonna fool around with this today. Get the instructions here. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to buy the decoder to get the instructions. You can go online and download it from his website. Uh, this is what I'm going to do today. CV123, which is your prime mover. You can select 0 or 1. So I got a feeling the 0 is for the GP38 and the 1 is for an Alco or GE locomotive. That's actually what I want this for, for a GE. I also bought the non-sound decoder. You go, um, you go on his website, and you can get this, thirteen bucks, thirteen dollars US. You can get your non-sound decoder at that price. I can afford to do my whole roster. So um, I'm probably not gonna try it tonight. I don't have enough time, but uh, in the future, for sure, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna focus on the sound. Uh, decoder today and I don't want to put it in the GP38 I want to put it in this engine which is a B23-7 and I'm going to see if it has the sound file for the uh, Alco or GE prime mover first thing I got to do is uh, put it in before I can try it I use the box method to remove the shell I custom painted this little guy a little a little while back. So this should fit right in. See the um, the U25B, the B23-7, B30-7, B36-7. They all use the same type of printed circuit board. Also um, the SD35. So GP38 of course and GP40. It should all fit in, so I'm going to split the frame. So this is what you get when you open it up. There's the motor and the worm gears and the little circuit board. So these two tabs here, they bring electricity to the motor and they connect with these two um, contact area here now I'm gonna put some tape because in the instructions they recommend that and I'll come back so you only need to mask the area where the contact strips go on both sides of the frame that will prevent the uh, shorts it looks like I may have to grind the frame just a little bit to make uh, some clearance for the speaker I just have to grind a small area here. It shouldn't affect the locomotive performance. So I ground out this area to make room uh, for the speaker. And now I can bring my decoder in, making sure that the two pads uh, touch the uh, contact strips from the motor. And that should fit right in there. Yeah, even with the indentation, it still fits in there tight. But it's gonna work. So it fits a lot better like this. I'm gonna bring uh, the fuel tank and uh, the trucks back on, and then we'll go try it on the track. So now let's just start it up. So headlights, bell, whistle, and let's have it uh, step up a little bit.
and reverse. So that's great for the GP38-2 sound. Now I'm gonna change uh, CZ123 and let's see what happens. So it did change the sound. Wow, that sounds like a lot more fun. really does sound like a GE. So that works perfectly, I'm going to go put the shell uh, back on. So I'm not going to throw the circuit board away, I'm going to keep it just in case in my parts bin. And then the shell, I may have to modify it or not, we'll find out here in just a little bit. Actually that looks awesome. And now it's time to run some trains. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun making it for you. See you soon.